All right, guys, today we're going to be changing out the crankshaft position sensor on a 1995 Ford Ranger. This is the uh, four liter motor. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get right into it, go ahead and take off the uh, cold air intake. And uh, this is an aftermarket one, so yours is going to probably look a little different if you still have the stock on here. But for me, all I have to do is just unscrew uh, this hose clamp right here. And uh, once it's unscrewed, I can go ahead and pull this off. And then I'm not even going to disconnect any of the other stuff. I'm just going to roll it back. All right, so I'm just going to take and pull this off. Again, I'm just going to take this and kind of set it off to the side here. Just like that. And your crankshaft position sensor sits right directly down here. All right, so that is your crankshaft position sensor. And uh, it has two bolts, so we'll be taking those out, and it runs right off your harmonic balancer. Um, there's your pulley, so the right directly behind, and the thing with the pointy, th the pointy end right there, that is your crankshaft position sensor. So let me show you what you're dealing with. All right, so this is what it looks like. Here's your electrical connector. It's a two-prong, and then this is your pickup on that side right there. So you have a lower uh, bolt and an upper bolt. So let's go ahead and take that off. All right, so here is the bolt that's coming out of there. It's a 10 millimeter. All right, so when you're taking this off, you just need to uh, kind of wiggle it back and forth. There's a little tip that's sticking out on the back side that uh, recesses into the block. And uh, once you get that to come off, all we have to do is take this electrical connector. All right, so I want to show you the condition of this thing. I mean, you can't even, <laughs> it doesn't even, uh, it won't pick up nothing. So if you're having a hard time starting your vehicle, this is a good chance that that's what it is. All right, so removing this, there should be two tabs. There should be one on one side and one on the other. Um, if you notice on this one, there's zero they actually uh, broke off at one point or another uh, that's not a good thing because this will just slide right off so you should have see where that little notch sticks out right here and then there's one on this side also um, it should have it so it locks into place that's gone on the actual electrical connector and um, if you do still have those which i'm hoping you do uh, be really careful because they will break so get like a real small screwdriver behind there and gently gently pry up on it all right before you uh, go throwing the new one in let's match them both up make sure you got uh, the right connector on the end here and then also just make sure that everything is exactly the same just uh, just double check all right, so if your tabs are completely missing on both sides, like this one is, um, you can get replacements. You just have to splice into the wire. Um, I would highly recommend doing that because you do not want this to come off while you're driving or out four wheeling or whatever. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like when it is done and completed. Uh, once you get that guide pin in uh, the, and put one bolt in, the other one goes in super easy. So you don't have to start one and then work the other one in. Uh, you can actually uh, tighten the one down and then go to the other one and it's already pre-aligned. So uh, hook up your electrical connector, make sure that thing locks into place. And um, that's how easy it is to install a crankshaft position sensor on your 1995 four liter Ford Ranger.